Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. These words, penned by the immortal Theodore Geisel, better known as Dr. Seuss, still hold true. This is indeed your day, class of 2011. You have all made it this far and have bright futures ahead of you. Parents, friends, and other supporters, I am sure I speak for this class as a whole in thanking you for your support, which has made all of our journeys possible. We are each of us unique, and it is in our differences we find strength. We are from every aspect of life and sphere of activity, and in combining all of our unique talents and motivations, we have been made into the special, passionate group that we are, able to do great things when we work together. With our enlightened spirit, every obstacle can be overcome and dream realized. Class, your years of education shall not be without fruition. Whatever your chosen path, preparation has put success within your grasp, and the world is the right sowing ground for your seeds of achievement. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang, and you'll soon take the lead. A small company was founded on April Fool's Day of 1976, and for years its success seemed to be predetermined by its purpose as nothing more than a joke. Those who invested in them early and kept faith, seeing little benefit until recently, are going to profit from them for the rest of their lives. But what does graduation have to do with the well-known company, Apple? As graduates, we're society's greatest investments. We're the products of countless hours of teaching, caring, and loving from those all around us, and until now, we have given little in return. Graduation is a time to appreciate this and prepare ourselves to live a life in which we make these same sacrifices. We will use the skills we have gained to make the world a better place, even though we may not see the benefits right away. We will adapt to a changing world, one that has no predictable future. The class of 2011 does not view uncertainty. We have survived dramatic changes in the past, and we are fully capable of thriving in the changes of the future. We will remember our home and return the profits of your investment. We will be the leaders of the future. Wherever you fly, you will be best of the best. And wherever you go, you will top all the rest. We will walk up and down the streets. We come over with care. About some, you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any if you want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. As we graduate, we reflect on the choices that we've made and look forward to the decisions that we will have to make in the future. Whether it's really what to eat um, in the morning, or what to wear to a vocational brunch, or where to apply for a job, or just making good choices, the future will not come easily. There will be times when temptations occur. There will be there will be devious streets, paths, and even avenues full of temptations and false promises. But we must stay true to ourselves. And we remain hopeful about our future. We are confident that we will follow the correct metaphorical streets of choices, and we will stay true to each other, our families, and ourselves. So though out there things can happen, and frequently do, to people as brainy and footsie as you. When things start to happen, don't worry, don't scare. Just go right along. It'll start, start happening too. I'm sorry to say it. Sadly, it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are, then, that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun, and slumping yourself is not easily done. As we stand here today, we look forward to the future and what will become of us. But the truth is that the future is a mystery and is when you make it. The future holds both great heights and great falls, but the key to experiencing the best in life is being able to overcome the worst. Setbacks and adversities are never in life. Our responsibilities and choices may overwhelm us, especially when things don't go according to plan. We've all had our share of hang-ups and bang-ups in our lives, and when we do end up in a slump, it becomes difficult to get back up. I too have had my share of hang-ups and bang-ups. A year ago during my third wrestling season, I suffered a demoralizing shoulder injury. 
This threw me into a deep depression and ended my season. But I never gave up hope for the future. And with the help of my older brother, Rekko Ishii, I was able to regain my spirits, play some states, and become the person I am today. Can't be really crushed in our journey called life. We'll get all caught up in our troubles and strife. But you must remember to not ever quit. The future gets brighter, and life's what you make it. You'll escape all that weighty and stain. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are played. With banners flip flapping, once more you're on high. Ready for anything under the sky. Ready because you're that kind of a guy. We must not wait. We must not stay. This waiting and staying is a cause of our own uncertainties. Throughout our lives, we will all, we will all experience periods of uncertainty. Times when we feel afraid of change or failure. But we mustn't let it get to us. Despite our uncertainties, we have to preserve and never give up. By taking control of our own futures, we will eventually escape our own self-imposed slums and reach the place where boom bands play. We will become the conductors of our own lives, and we will decide our own futures and choose our own paths. Even though these paths may lead to faith and failure, we will learn from these ordeals. We will eventually find our right places, where we will enjoy our lives and make the most of our experiences. We will overcome all of our uncertainties and slopes. Then, and only then, will we be able to ride high. And be ready for anything under the sky. Well, the places you'll go, there is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. Dr. Seuss couldn't be any more right. As we close this chapter in our lives tonight, we're preparing to embark on a new, but very exciting journey. This journey may take us out of our comfort zones, but each new experience will be an opportunity to learn more about who we are and who we hope to become. Along the way, we must keep in mind that our time is limited as it is precious. To spend it restricted by others' beliefs would simply be a waste. So remember that we are always in control. And no, we may not know where the road goes, but if we take the time and have the courage to follow our heart and intuition, we somehow already know the way toward a worthwhile pursuit. They know the way toward our dreams. Dreams. They're universal, but each individual aspires to something unique. Whether we dream of opening our own garage, having a happy family, or seeing the world, all of us dream of something. Despite our individual hopes, however, all of us share a common desire that transcends all of our individual dreams. We will all want to live a meaningful life. But what is a meaningful life? It is giving whatever you love your 110 percent. This comes at a time of increasing technological, social, and economic change. So our dreams need not be confined. We are the future, and so we must embrace our dreams and be the artists, doctors, writers, thinkers, and parents who will make the music, cure the illnesses, write the literature, create the concepts, and raise the children that will shatter and mold today's reality into something new. So, Eagle High School Class of 2011, take this knowledge and remember that the best of us is still hiding up our sleeves. Because there are many places we'll go. There's lots of fun to be done. There are many points to score and many games to be won. When you're alone, there's a very good chance that you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. But on you will go, though the weather will be foul. On you will go, though your enemies prowl. Four years ago, we entered Hilo High as freshmen. We were all unsure of where to go and what to do. Everyone became comfortable, joined clubs and sports, and Hilo High became our home. Throughout the years, we had our own challenges and roadblocks that we were faced with. All of us were able to conquer our fears and can continue to be the best that we could possibly be. Over the years, we survived taking the SATs, passed all our classes, completed senior projects, and made big, made big life-changing decisions. By going at our own pace, we were able to succeed and make it here tonight. As the next chapter in our life begins, we will be starting over in a new place. We will be faced with a new set of obstacles, but we will use what we've learned to keep moving forward. We need to be independent and able to take care of ourselves. We must remember what is right and wrong and keep perspective on things that are important. 
Thank you. 